What's going on, everybody? Rachel West here, along with Rick Stroud and Joey Knight. And guys, the wait is finally over. We know who the Bucks have taken in the first round of the draft this year. Joe Tryon, a linebacker from Washington. Rick, I'm going to throw it to you right away here. What do the Bucks like about him, and how do you think he's going to fit into the team? Well, what they like is that he's, he's going to be a great edge rusher, they think. They're, you know, they're not in a hurry to play him. They got Jason Pierre-Paul and Shaquille Barrett. The guy, you know, they picked him after midnight, and he, and he turned 22 years old, right, at, after midnight. So he had a lot to celebrate. Um, but he opted out last year at Washington. He was real productive two years ago, eight sacks. Uh, again, a big guy, 6'5", 250 pounds. And um, he's just a, a great prospect. And, and I think that uh, they think he'll fit well in this defense. Yeah, his uh, 22nd birthday is definitely going to be hard to top. I'd look out 23. That's I don't know what he's going to do there. <laughs> Maybe win a Super Bowl, come off a Super Bowl win. I don't know. But, um, Joey, I'm going to throw it over to you now. There was a lot of talk going into this draft about how they could potentially trade either up or just trade the pick away and just save it for picks later on. Uh, so did they consider that at all? I'm sure they they considered it. They they played a little close to the vest. Um, you know, there was, I think, you know, they, they had targeted in that Joe Tryon, where they were slotted at number 32, was their guy. And, you know, for lack of a better term, they didn't budge. As the draft got closer to their selection, they were honed in on their guy. And you, you say, say this about Joe Tryon. I mean, it was 1230 when we talked to him, but the, the dude – for lack of a better term, won the press conference. He, he said the right things. He said, I want to come in here and be a sponge and learn from JP, Peel, JP Peel and Shaq Barrett, you know, absorb everything those guys who play my position have to teach me and, and just go from there. And going off of that a little bit, in recent years, the Bucks have had a lot of success and they put that on their, their concentration more on the person behind the player and not so much the skill set. Obviously, they have to have a good skill set, but the person that they are as well. Do they feel like he fits that mold well for them? Yeah, I think so. You know, we, we asked Jason about him, and he said that uh, they had done, obviously, a lot of homework, a lot of Zoom calls with him. He, he was a real leader. He's a mature guy. When you talk to him, um, he comes across as, as, as much older than 22 years old, which has been the case, right? with guys like Antoine Winfield Jr. and Tristan Wirfs. He reminds you of the maturity that those guys have. And just, just his acknowledgement, like Joey said, that I want to come in, I want to learn. You know, uh, uh, he doesn't feel like he has all the answers, that sort of thing. And so, you know, he's worked hard in the offseason. And I think they got another guy who's going to be selfless and fit into this locker room because it's a veteran team. And if he is a sponge, like Joey said, he's going to learn a lot from those guys. Well, we'll see how he ends up being on the team. Thanks guys for catching up with us real quick. Everyone make sure you're keeping up with both Joey and Rick on Twitter as the draft finishes out over the weekend and be sure that you're keeping up with tampabay.com.